Hello everybody, this is Delpha, and we're back in Spooky's House of Jumpscares. Let's carry on. 200 more floors, I think. Hopefully, unless we die. Anyway, I think the next monster is the one that turns the walls red. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Slimer again. Slimy. This ain't Ghostbusters. Oh god, he's still after me. Gotta move, gotta move. Away from Slimer. Stay away, Slimer. I can hear him. He's close behind me. Okay, there we go. Ah, here we are. Okay, it's this monster. This monster turns the walls red. Which is not good. If I remember. Not that bad, but it's kind of annoying if you don't know where to go. Okay, there's a couple of notes in here which we need to... Well, we don't have to look at, but I want to have another look. It's after this I don't know... What's left? The darkness is slowly consuming us now. I don't think our rituals will appease it much longer. How are we supposed to know this would happen? You're not, I guess. Right then. What else? Nothing else really. Other than another door. It's not really our fault. We just did what Mother has told us to do in this sort of situation. Like what? I don't know. What is it anyway? It's like some sort of humanoid monster, isn't it? Ooh. Mother is not pleased with us, but how are we supposed to know that the girl wasn't pure? Dun dun dun. Spoilers. The girl's not pure enough. Hello, Han. You okay? I think he's okay. The monster that turns the walls red. Red. Full of blood and guts and gore. Right. Where are you? To the left, aren't you? Is this new? I can't tell. Ah, there we go. Right. He should be in there. There he is. Just don't go near him. And we should be fine. And this is where things get tricky. Because he changes the vision and makes everything go red. Which is not nice. It's difficult to tell where you're going. I suppose if you hear all those fun things, you know he's coming for you. And if the walls go red. Oh god, I'm lost. Yeah, boiler rooms. Not fun. Oh god. Are we okay? I really don't like this music. It's creepy. Ugh. Oh fuck! Please don't do that in my ear. Ugh. Don't. If you don't. Oh fuck, I'm lost. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is that it? Okay, never mind. Uh, to the left. There was something to the right, I just missed it. Leave me alone, creature. Oh god. Straight and left. Straight and left. There we go. Where are we now? 225, and he's whispering in my ear again. Oh, it's stump. God. Right, how far in? 227. I think this is the point where they make you go up to 100 rooms before a save point. Before a save point. Okay, there we go. Running, 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 running. Oh, God, red. How close behind is he? Oh, God, this is even worse. Oh, God. Okay, just gotta take it slow. Kind of. Run when we have a chance. Please be the right way. No, it's not the right way! Where is he? I don't know and I'm stuck. Can you turn back to normal, please? I can't tell where I'm going. It's difficult. There we go. He's still chasing! Go away! We've gone up like 15 floors. Oh god. Oh no! Ah! Oh my god, hello! What was that? Well, whatever it was, um, I don't know what happened there. It's like I went through a wall and somehow got my vision back. I think. Okay, I think we're safe. There's like no more... Ooh, note. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Into obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow.
Dun dun dun. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh! Fudge! Stumps! Oh, chandelier. Damn it. Every single time I start talking, there's a jump scare. Okay. So. Four more floors. Ugh, my heart. Ow. Ugh. I haven't been jump scared in a while. Except for that time. Oh, spooky. Hello. So, you made it this far. Oh, there is a save point. That's, uh, that's great. Thank you. I shall grant you a gift for your progress. What? So, uh, so just keep going. Ah, this, yeah. All right, let's save. Password is pumpkin. What's it for, the password? I don't know. Turn around. Look behind you. Ah, scary. Ah! Okay, let's leave. Alright, now I don't know what happens next. Whatever the next monster is, I'm gonna probably have a bad time. I think. Maybe we'll get there, maybe we'll be okay, who knows. Maybe we'll find nothing? We're gonna get chased by something. Don't know what though. Maybe the spider? Maybe the ghost girl? Maybe the slimer? Oh! I thought there was something chasing me. Oh god, there yeah, we are getting chased by, uh, what's it called? The uh, spider centipede thing. Not that bad, but it's still kind of creepy. In a way, its own way. It can't help being creepy. Thank god we went the right way. I don't like these boiler rooms. They always have these pipes in the way. It's hard to get past them. More holes. This creature isn't that bad because it's quite slow. And you can also tell when it's coming after you if you hear like the clicking. The click, 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 click. Oh god. Oh, thank god we went the right way. Spiders in a row! Okay, we're safe. Where are we now? Well, we're not being chased anymore, I don't think. The music stopped. I wonder if those monsters are always random. Do they only come after you for like 10 floors and then they give up? I don't know. I wonder what the next big creature is going to be. Oh god, seriously? I hate these rooms. They take forever to get through. What was that? Don't know what that was. Loud echo. When are we going to get something new? Hopefully. Almost there. I'm guessing we'll get something at 280. Nope. Maybe we're not going to get anything. Or maybe we'll only get something at like the last 10 floors. Maybe. 15 floors? This room, nothing important. Because if you go to the end of that hall, you're going to die! Yes, I know. Uh, I hate these rooms, they're so long. I can fall asleep to this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Start making creepy noises. There we are. Oh, pumpkin! Uh, God. How many more floors do we have? It's getting boring now. Well, we can just like 300 with no, <laughs> with no problems whatsoever. 290. 291. Ah, skeleton. How many more? Come on. Something more interesting, please. Just gotta keep running. Gotta keep on running. We're nearly up to 300. Oh, come on. I hate these rooms. They're so long and annoying. Uh, we're nearly up to 300 though, I'm happy about that. Almost there, a few more steps. Wrong way! Maybe I should always go right. Hmm. I'm stuck. Alright, here we are. 2697. 297. 299. I mean, 2898. Wrong one. Oh, we're here. Yay! Thank you. Okay, nothing else. Just a note. 
Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they are all called effective based on how many people they kill. Okay, let's go down. This shouldn't take too long. Ta a hundred more floors. This will be fun. A hundred more. And then we can finish. So basically, I think it's like, how many videos will this be? Eight videos, maybe? Maybe more? Actually, no, it would be technically ten videos. Because I'd go a hundred each video. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, actually, I just realized, yeah, the textures have changed, haven't they? They're different now. They're creepy. Oh, God, where are we? Okay. Nothing else yet. Right, so we're going to get something new in a minute. Ah, the brain. Are you going to give me anything? No, apparently not. Is there any notes? No, you're just pointless, aren't you, Mr. Brain? Don't know what else I'm supposed to do with you. Or then walk past you. Right, something new? Legend of Zelda? <laughs> oh dear. What's the name of the temple? Which one? Is it from Ocarina of Time? I think. Oh, you can see through that one. You can see through them all, except for that one. Left or right? I mean, straight or left, or whatever. This will be interesting. The music is really weird. All these masks. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He done. He dove, I mean, into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. So he drowned. Lovely. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous. So one night, some of the townspeople took his puppets and threw them in the river. Oh, lovely. Anything else in here? Keys? Anything? Scalpel? Anything? Oh, a key. <laughs> Alright. Can I pick up any tools? No. Okay. I wonder who that is. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Alright, so this way now. Anything in here? No. Right, we can't go straight, but we can go left. The music stopped. More notes. Although... There's something there, I just saw that. Although, not what they wanted. The shopkeepers were satisfied. Okay. So they didn't want him to drown, but they were satisfied that he disappeared. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. <laughs> Pied Piper now, isn't it? And so, and as more children, and as more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. <clears throat> These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Ooh, creepy. Anyway, here's the key. Um, anything else? Is that all the notes? I think. Yep. Things are gonna get creepy.